Welcome to our first unit, Unit 1, Learning Target Number 1. Today we're going to learn about how to write and evaluate numerical expressions involving whole number exponents. So remember that a numerical expression is just putting two numbers together or more with some sort of operator in between. So 2 plus 3 is a numerical expression. 3 times 5 is also a numerical expression. Or 2 plus 6 times 3. All of those are numerical expressions. Whole numbers are any of our numbers like this that aren't decimals or fractions. So involving whole number and exponents, which is what we'll talk about next. So in this case, we have an exponent here. And we have two different things. We have a base, which is our number here. This is the number. And then the exponent that we're going to deal with. Now our base is the number that we're going to multiply by itself some number of times. So in this case, we have a base of 7 raised to the exponent of 2, which means we're going to multiply 7 by itself 2 times. So 7 times 7 is equal to 49. And that is equal to 7 squared. Well, let's take a look at some of these other ones. Again, our base and our exponent. So here we have our base is 5 and our exponent is 0. Now any number to the exponent 0 is equal to 1. So 6 to the 0th power would be 1, 5 to the 0th power is 1, 2507 to the 0th power is 1. Anything to the 0th power is 1. Now any number, it's, you have your base here is 5, any number raised to the first power is going to be itself. So in this case 5 to the first power is 5. 6 to the first power would be 6, 7 to the first power would be 7, etc. So that is essentially 5 one time. Then we have 5 to the second power, which is 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 5 to the third power, 5 times 5 times Five. And I think you get the picture. If we had 5 to the 4th power, we would have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And that's how we work our exponents. By the way, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So let's move on to our next part. Here we have some numbers that are repeated multiplication. Exponents are really just repeated multiplication. So when we say 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, what we're really saying is 3 to the 4th power. Notice there are 4 3's, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 3 to the 4th power. And 3 to the 4th power would be then 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27, times 3, which is 81. So 3 to the 4th power is 81. In this case, we have 2 to some power. You can count them up for yourself here. Let's see if you can beat me at it. 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth power. 2 to the fifth power is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, times 2 is 32. So 2 to the fifth power is 32. Then we have 5 to the 1, 2, 3 to the 3rd power. 5 to the 3rd power. And once again, we have 5 times 5, which is 25. And 25 times 5, which is 125. 125. And that is most of what we're going to do with our exponents. So here's our word problem. Tad's employer did not want to pay him minimum wage. Maybe he felt like it was too much. So Tad made a deal that he would be paid only one dollar the first day. That seems pretty crazy to be paid only one dollar the first day. However, his employer had to double his salary every day after that. So on the first day he would get one dollar and on the second day he would get two dollars and so on. Tad worked for just ten days how much money, we want to know, the first question is, how much money would he make on the last day that he worked? Not the whole week, just the last day that he worked. So let's take a look at it. 
let's say here's our number of days and here's the amount of money he made so on day one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten on day one he would have made one dollar double that for day two that's two dollars double that again for day three that's four dollars double it again is eight and then sixteen and sixteen times two is thirty two and double that it's sixty four double that is hundred and twenty eight double that is two hundred and fifty six and double that and you get five hundred and twelve five hundred and twelve so we've doubled each one of those so on the very last day he made five hundred and twelve dollars so how much would he make for the whole week well if we add all these together is one thousand and twenty three so if we add all these up together and you can do that with your calculator you'll get one thousand and twenty three dollars that's how much he would make for the whole week now here's the question how do exponents help us solve this problem what relationship does this have to exponents well let's take a look let's take a look at powers of two since we're doubling each one of these what is two to the zeroth power well that's one well what is two to the first power two to the first power is two and two to the second power is four and two to the third power is eight two to the fourth two to the fifth two to the sixth two to the seventh two to the eighth and then two to the ninth so we're raising our two to the power of the day minus one so two to the one minus one is zero two to the two minus one is one etc so each one of these is a power of two so you get two to the ninth and that gives you your answer of course then you add all those together and you get your final answer so how do exponents help us solve this problem each day represents two to the day minus one power so that two to the ninth is equal to 512 add tad's pay for each day to get his weekly total